everybody. This is Kate Richberg. It's time for Bead Shop Live. I'm here from a remote location. Yes. With my bestie, my best bestie. Best bestie. Bestie. Long time. Long, long times. First, let me do this, and then I'm going to tell you all about this person, this amazing person who's saying, some of you know who this is already. Um, let me... Um, do this part though. Do my due diligence there. No, you'll just see Christine. <laughs> there she is. I'll uh, present there. the screen. There. Present the screen. There we go. Don't forget folks to follow us on there. I am on all of our socials, <laughs> Facebook. One. There it is. <laughs> the feed shop, feed table, uh, our Instagram, our Pinterest, hit that like, and subscribe button on YouTube and subscribe. subscribe. We're so close to a hundred thousand. Um, if you have any questions, shoot us that email at info. <clears throat> at beadshop.com. You may hear some noise because we are at a remote location somewhere in nature. So let me first introduce my cohort for the day. My friends, this is my dear friend, uh, yeah, Janice is all, we thought you were your besties. You are my bestie. <laughs> Hi, Janice. Yes. So this is my dear friend, Christine Griffith, who we've known each other since we were 15. 15, yeah. Yeah. We owned we Bedissimo. No, we are not. <laughs> we are not 15. We owned our bead store in San Francisco, Bedissimo, together. Um, some of you know Christine from Bedissimo. Um, and uh, so we're up here at her sister, Karen. Karen's right back there. She's Karen, right get there. in here. Karen, come Karen say get hi. in here. Come say hi. We're at Karen's place. To all the wonderful jewelry makers. Up in Lake Arrowhead. Hi. There's Coming our Christine. The trees, That's up in right. The mountains. And we're celebrating our dear friend Bass' 60th birthday. How did that happen? We're just, it's we're right behind it. It's coming. Yeah, it's coming for us. Dude, we're, we're going to be 57. <laughs> You're already 57. I'm already 57. I'm going to be 57 in yeah. just a few days. Anyway, so uh, so since we're up here and since I have a live broadcast today, I'm all, I've am all i been threatening for Christine to come on. I'm all, dude, you got to come on with me. So here she is. So... Uh, you may uh, remember Christine from such places, as I said, Bidissimo, but also in Tucson. Got back in the biz That's for a right. Week. That's right. I called her back in when Janice couldn't come out, and now it's a thing. So I'm in. Christine and I are getting ready for Tucson in um, February. We're all booked. We're locked and loaded. So you'll see our adventures uh, back in Tucson uh, so Christine was responsible. Remember how we did those? We did the the mystery box. Yeah, the mystery. I yeah, love yeah. doing the mystery box. Christine that was, was responsible. Fun. Excuse me, I'm I'm drooling because I'm so excited <laughs> for half of the great stuff that was in there. We're going to do the mystery boxes again. Um, she's one of the best bead buyers in the biz. Well, for you sure. taught me. You taught yeah, me. Well, it was fun. We had good times. You just gave you gave me an assignment. I was up to the task. You told me what to go look for and get yeah. what the color palettes were. And I'm yeah. like, all right. Yeah. And she goes, it. oh, I remember how to do this. <laughs> it's, right. It was like riding a bike. It never leaves I was like, all right. Let's do it. I was like, what would Kate just, <laughs> Kate, Janice, what's it going to be? What would they do? What would they do? Yeah. yeah. We had so a great it was time. a really great time and super, super fun. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. Kim, Kim Galeas. Why do we all say dude when we're with our best Oh, I know. It's true. We can't help it. Dude, it's true um so we are going to um uh prep for tucson so we'll be doing some tucson lives and stuff with you in uh when we're there in february but so christine is here i just wanted to for you folks to meet virtually yeah, just say hi just say hi my mom's on she oh, says hi, hello to says off <laughs> that's christine's armenian name Honorary, uh, honorary, honorary Armenian name. So many honoraries for me. <laughs> That's they got right. And That's Armenian right. Name as Armenian well. name. Armenian so name. One big Um, Do you want to share? Oh, I don't know where our mister is. is. So we also have when he Christine and I, dog. he was our shop dog. So those of you who remember Bedissimo, and I know there's a few of you on here who are saying hello and who's saying Christine is familiar to you from Bedissimo. So for Christine's 40th birthday, when we had the store in San Francisco, I got it in my head. I'm going to get Christine a dog. So I did. So I got Christine. Dog. It was a surprise dog. I'm all, dude, I got you a dog. So Nathan was our shop dog, our Bidissimo shop dog. And Nathan yeah, is 17. He's 17. So he's still with us. 
say hi, everybody. Nathan from the mission is now Nathan uh, from San Diego. Yeah, retired and in San Diego. Retired, yes. So uh, so he's still kicking. It's his almost 17th anniversary of when you yeah. got him because your birthday is at the end yeah. of August. And his birthday is yep. in August, too, 17th. Yep. He's not letting this go to his head at all. Yeah, my mom <laughs> says, little Nady. <laughs> little yeah. tiny. There's little Nady. There he is. But yeah, he was our shop dog and he was, he. People would come just to see Yeah, Nathan. just to see Nathan. And then maybe buy some beads. Yeah, buy some beads. But people would bring him like dog treats and hamburgers. Remember, yeah. we have um, one of our customers because she would get her dog a McDonald's hamburger and she would get one for Nathan and little a little uh, 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 um, kerchief kerchiefs and stuff. Yeah. So Nathan was uh, Nathan from the mission. Right. Yeah. Yeah. 17. So anyway, anyway. so we just wanted to say hello. Say hello. Um, and now let's play with some leather. Yes. Shall we? We will let you go to it. All right. Go to it. Get to it. So nice to say hi to everyone. Yeah. Well, All it's, right. It's great. And um, say bye bye. <laughs> yeah, say bye bye. Say bye, Nady. All right, <laughs> all right. Have fun. Thanks, Christine. So here I am up in Lake Arrowhead, California. Look at this backdrop. Right, I should have. This is not a virtual background. This is like real background right here. This is real in nature. So, um, so it's the perfect space to do a little bit of bead work here. So let me, I know, isn't he our tiny Nathan? He is, he was fierce for sure. Our boy, but yeah, he's our, he's our, he was our shop dog, our Bidissimo shop dog. So <clears throat> let me show you what we've got here. Let me, um, let me highlight this and let's take a look. And again, sorry about if there's any auxiliary sound, but again, I am up here in nature. The lighting looks good though, right? So maybe I should just do all my broadcasts from Lake Arrowhead. It's beautiful up here. So, okay. We launched yesterday some of this new leather, and this is the leather that um, we ordered and got in, that Janice and I got in. When we got in that strap leather, remember? These are the colors that kind of go with that strap leather. And I think you folks are really going to love them. We added some new colors of the braided, right? So here's the braided. Let me zoom in a little bit more. I've got my whole setup here. I'm all set up on the Christine's all, wow, you can travel with that setup. I'm all, yes, I can for sure. I can go live anywhere. Um, so this is the round, this is the four millimeter. And let me show you, I've got the, I even managed to remember my caliper here. So here's the caliper. Let me show you here. This is the four millimeter leather. We sell, so the way that the strap leather came, let me grab, because I've got a piece of strap leather right here too. If you remember when we, when we introduced the strap leather, the strap leather comes by the meter, right? Um, so uh it comes in individual pieces so if you buy multiples of this you're going to get it in pieces right with this this round leather if you purchase multiples you're going to get this in um in a continuous length so if you order four yards you'll get it in four yard a long one four yard piece. And the quality is great. It's all in one um, length. There shouldn't be any noticeable splices or knots or anything like that. Um, so it's great. Oh, it's great to see Christine Whitney back. So thank you for joining us, Christine. Hope all is well with you. It's great to get your updates. I love hearing how you're doing. And our dear Gita, good evening from Denmark, my dear friend. It's great to have you all here. So this leather, this is the four millimeter. And let me show you here with the caliper. It's just, and this will vary. I'm squeezing it a little bit. There we go. The size will vary a little. See, that's 3.7 there. 
that's 4.0 there. And it's just because this is natural, right? This is handmade for us. And we chose the colors. This is the distressed denim that we love this color. We also have it, <clears throat> pardon me, in the distress, the distressed brown, which is having a moment with me lately. This picture looks pretty darn good with this outdoor lighting. Um, and then we have it in the black here. Look at how nice this black, right? I love it. Um, here, we're going to have two more colors of this, the distressed gray and the distressed violet. It's coming um, in the other, and those are the flavors that we're missing. In the braided, we also have it in the braided, in the distressed denim. Look at that natural brown. And in the black. So we'll be having the three again in the distressed violet and in the distressed gray. Okay. We're going to be adding some more colors as well to these. Um, but we want to finish up with this round, with this launch, and then we'll be getting some new ones for you, some new colors. Okay. So... I didn't bring any of my samples with the distressed leather, but the Boho Bangle uses this um, braided leather. Um, there's a lot of great stuff we use this from, and so it's great. This four millimeter barb is, or uh, this flat, this smooth leather is four millimeter, okay? So for contrast, this <clears throat> is launching on Friday. And this is the project I'm going to share with you on Friday. But let me show you for contrast size. This is two millimeter. These are the two millimeters we're launching on Friday. So two millimeter here is here. And I love this turquoise color. I think we're going to get it in the four mil as well. But this is launching on Friday. <clears throat> so see the difference in size between the two millimeter and the four millimeter right here. And then the braided, like Janice is saying, the braided is five millimeter. Okay. So we were also wanting to get some clasps uh, for this. So uh, here are the clasps here. So I got these. They're kind of a smooth, beautiful clasp that we've gotten. Um, here it is. I have it already put on this leather. We've got it in the four millimeter and the five millimeter here. So see when you open it up, it's like this. So see how it has that little kind of flange here where the, where the magnet sits. So that goes into the clasp and see how it doesn't move. It doesn't slide off like this. So this clasp is super secure. I really love them. So we carry this clasp in the four and the five millimeter <clears throat> and we carry it, pardon me, in these three colors. This, they call this a rose gold, but it works with all of the copper as well in the brushed silver and this brushed gold right here. Okay. So uh, they fit beautifully. So this is the five and this is the four. So let me show you. <clears throat> I've got some, I've got this one all set to go. Uh, and let me just show you how this goes together. Let me do it with the black and I'm just going to do a plain one. Okay. To start. Now what I'm going to do, so, so I don't want to get anything on my board here. I'm going to put a little piece of, of, uh, of a uh, paper towel down. Let me see if I can get this nice and even. There we go. And what I want to do is I want to get a nice straight across cut on here. Oh, thank you, Marianne. Yep, my birthday is on Sunday. These are my birthday nails. I got chrome, which I like. I like this kind of crazy color. I love it. So see this straight across cut like that. And then I'm going to get my zap glue, which is all the way over here. <clears throat> and I'm going to zap this with the zap glue. I'm going to come in and I'm going to put a dot. See that? There's a dot of that zap 
on the end. I know, I thought that this was like a scarab. I like color shift too. It was special for my birthday. You can hear, I bet you can hear, there's a whole bunch of turkey vultures. They live right, they're like right behind me. I'm like, hey, turkey vultures, I'm not that old yet, but um, they're really beautiful. They're really cool birds. So can you see there, there's that zap on the end. Okay, so I'll use, maybe I'll use a silver clasp on this one. Here's the four millimeter. So when I start to put this in, I keep the clasp connected. Okay, so I'm going to just put that right in. Make sure that the, the glue is contacting the, you know, the back end of the clasp, and I'm going to let it sit there for a second. There's a little bit that came out. Yeah, the turkey vultures were sunning their wings this morning. They were really stunning. But yeah, there's about, um, I don't know, Christine was saying they counted them one day. There's about 120 of them that are, uh, that just hang out here in the trees. They're really cool. Then they leave uh, kind of in late September, and then they'll be back in April. So it's kind of cool to have them. So here we go. So I'm going to now size this around my wrist. My wrist is six and a half inches here. So I'm going to kind of swing it around. I didn't even bring a tape measure with me on to this remote location, but, um, you know, whatever. Uh, so I'm going to kind of measure it. And I think this looks about right right here. And I'm going to kind of look and go, okay, um, I'm going to cut it right here and then I'm going to test it. Okay. And the way I like cutting this is with the, these wire cutters right here. Okay. Like this. So just for fun, let me, um, measure it against the one I've already made. So that goes here. This lines up. This one's actually a little bit shorter, but we'll see how it, how it works, <clears throat> how it sizes up. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this end in like that. Let's see if it fits. I haven't glued the other end yet. Yeah, I think it's going to fit. This is the time when it feels like you need one more, one more hand, right? Yeah, that's going to go in just fine. Okay, so <clears throat> I'll just come in and I'm going to get my zap for the other side. And someone had a question about how many two millimeters. I'll go ahead and use this blue that's going to launch on Friday and we'll, we'll glue it in. Okay. Just to let you folks know, so you can get other two millimeters, but these will be on, uh, this leather will be on Friday with some of the others. Let me put this in. Make sure that that leather hits the back end of the clasp. Okay. So it gets in contact. And if there's any little extra, that comes out, you're just going to, so right, instant bracelet. Wouldn't these look great? Just a, a trio of these in the three different colors with the three different color clasps. This would look great as just a stacker, wouldn't it? So fast with making these, right? So I'm going to set this aside and let's take a look. You folks have some questions, so let me answer them. Um, so Gail is asking, she's wondering how the clasps will work with the tubular bead crochet. You know, the five millimeter, here's the five millimeter clasp in there. And the five mil, this inside diameter, can you see it's, it's really spot on. It's five millimeter on the inside. Maybe if you put your tubular bead crochet over this five mil, like this or four millimeter 
and then glue this inside and then have the tubular crochet or whatever um, over the leather. That might work. Okay. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. Terry's asking, <coughs> sorry, let me grab some coffee here. Terry's asking, does each side of the clasp have an end for the glue and leather to stop at? It does. So see here, here's the inside. You can see there are the, the magnets. And can you see there on the inside? So there's the stopper. So the, this side, the long side, takes up about that much leather. And the short side... Well, it's about the same. So this is mm, this is saying it's about six millimeters, right? Or so. That's what goes inside. Okay. So there was another question. Oh, the two millimeter. Let's take a look and see how many of those two mils. Let me just use, let me, you know, I'm so bad. This is gonna launch on Friday. So these are the two millimeters, the new leather colors that we have. Uh, but let me put, let me use, this is, you know, and I'm sorry, I can't remember. Let me see. We were texting about the names. Let me see if I can remember the names here. The names of these are going to be, I'll tell you. Um... It'll come up here a second. Maybe it's, hang on, let me look on the, on our products here on the back end. Uh, okay, this one is Capri. This one is called Ocean, and this one's called Azure. And these will be available on Friday. I know, right? Why am I showing them to you today? Because I had them here. Because I I have to record the Friday broadcast. The Friday broadcast is going to be pre-recorded, but I'm going to do it after this broadcast. Uh, okay, <clears throat> so let's see how many of these go in. Let me, uh, let me get a piece of the turquoise. Let me get a length of it. You're going to see this again. You're going to see this again on the Friday broadcast. Um, Let me cut, I'm going to cut it a little longer than I think I want it because maybe I want to twist it or something. Maybe this is about 10 inches, I don't know, or so. Let me cut one, two. Let's see what two look like in the four millimeter. And since this is flat, the two, right? I can get three in the four millimeter, which seems counterintuitive, but since this four millimeter is round, see that? Look at three fit perfectly in there. So let me cut those down. Let me cut those out. Let me glue. I'm going to glue all four of these in there because just to show you, let me, and you can do this obviously with any four millimeter. I mean, two millimeter, right? Get that out of the way. Let me cut these across so they're nice and across there. Let me get my zap, which is my glue of choice for this. Where did I put it? I still have another clasp to show you. This beauty. But hold that thought. Let me get this four mil out here. I'm going to put some of the glue inside this clasp this time. I'm going to put the tip of my zap glue in. I'm going to extrude a little bit of glue. It's hard to see in there, but the glue is in there now. Okay. Now I'm going to bring all three of these together like this. And I'm going to put them in the clasp. Making sure 
that all three strands hit the back of the clasp. Does that make sense? Okay. So here's this. So there's the two mil, and I'm going to set this aside. Uh, let's look at how many of these fit in the five millimeter, and then we'll move, we'll go to the 1.5. Okay. So here's the five millimeter right here. Okay. Whoops, I should have put the lid back on this. For the five mil, <clears throat> here's the ocean color. Leslie's asking, has my yard been finished? My yard is close, right? It's getting closer. I should do some broadcast for my yard because the light is nice, <laughs> right? But I'll get there. It'll all get there. If you also hear rustling, those are the turkey vultures. Do you hear that rustling? It's crazy. They're right, they're literally right behind me. They're cool. They're huge. So when I say cutting these flat, you guys, it means that I'm cutting these edges flat like this. Okay. Flat across. So we know that three fit. I'm going to go for four. You could use scissors for this, but I like these flush wire cutters. I feel these flush wire cutters work pretty nicely for this. So let me cut four. This could also be multicolored, right? It doesn't all have to be the same color. It would be very festive if we did it in different colors. But let's put these together so they kind of come around in a circle. And let's put them in the five mil clasp. I think there's room. See? So let me get let me get one of these bright blue ones. Look how pretty that is. These are gorgeous. I think these are colors that we're going to get at least one of these, maybe the turquoise for the four mil. Let me see. Let me see if I can get that in there. Yep. So in the five millimeter round smooth clasp, two, four, five of these. And look at how cool four of one color and one of another color look. Right? So that's this one. Also grand for a bracelet. Whoops, I just pulled these out. <laughs> My mom is asking, would the turkey vultures be able to get Alfie? Alfie is about as big, I think, as those turkey vultures. Maybe those turkey vultures could get Florence, but I am not going to bring the kitties up here. But they leave Nathan alone, so uh, they're not they're not bothering our Nady, so that's good. But yeah, they're crazy. I mean, they're literally right here. Um, here it is. Okay, yeah, look at that ocean color. I know it's so it's such a great one. Okay, so five of these go in the five millimeter. Four of these, or three of these, rather. I might be able to shove one more in there of the two millimeter uh, go in the four millimeter clasp. Let's look at the 1.5 mil. Okay. And then we'll get to the macrame and stuff. Let me get, I have the 1.5. I don't have it in the turquoise with me, but I do have it in the ocean and in the um, azure. Azure. Let me see. What color is this one? This one is azure. Yeah. And this one is ocean. Yeah. <laughs> Alfred, there isn't much that frightens Alfred. I mean, that cat is, he's a gentle giant, but he's definitely a giant. Let's cut some 1.5 mil. Let's cut three one. Oh, our friends have just joined. Debbie's just joining. Millie is on. Millie, thank you for that great link. You messaged me the other day. I think I told you that, but 
thank you. I'm going to share it with some, we're getting some nice flat leather cord and stuff in. So um, I'm going to share that with everyone. The leather cords that are walking down the runway. I love it. So let's get three strands of the 1.5 mil. And let's get three strands in the, the Azure and let's get three in the ocean. And let's see how many of these fit. Okay, two and three. Later on today, we're gonna take a boat drive around Lake Arrowhead. I love being out um, on the water. So that's going to be fun. Belinda, I love this. We kind of feel the same way. Peace eagles, as they help free our soul from our vessel to go to the great spirit. They call them peace eagles because they don't hunt. They merely scavenge. I love it. I, they're kind of, they're really cool. They're kind of magnificent um, and uh, majestic. Um, and they really are kind of, um, you know, they're just kind of hanging out here. And this is like the only place really that they, they hang out. They're really cool. So here's the six, the three and three. This is the four millimeter clasp. Let's see the six don't quite fit. So let me take one away. This is five of the 1.5 mil. Yeah. Five will fit. I just have to get it in there. But I promise you, there we go. Here we are. See, the five fit. Okay. Now something like this, you can braid too. Wouldn't this be great? Braid, 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 braid. Um, that would look great. And then glue it on the other side. If you're going to braid, you need to have a lot of extra thread or cord because of, um, you know, the braid takes up length. So look at that. Look at how nice those look in there. So let me get the two millimeter. I'm sorry, the, the five millimeter with the 1.5. So these obviously all fit. Let me get that sixth one in there. Look at that. Six fit. I bet I can get a seventh <clears throat> in there of the 1.5 millimeter. I can. Let me see if I can get eight. Yep. So eight strands. Wouldn't this be spectacular as a necklace, right? We do those wire wrap seed bead things around here. Wouldn't that be great? I didn't bring those samples either to my remote location. But you know what also goes on these? And these are getting restocked. We thought they would be in for this show, but they're going to be in in just the next couple of days. All of this, the frost rainbow. This is the nebula blue. Look, just feast your eyes. Let me get those <clears throat> and let me get a high contrast. Here it is in the rainbow dark red. And this is the rainbow ivory that I'm kind of in love with. Herringbone weave. Yes, with the nine strand. Wouldn't that look beautiful? They're so, so cool. The um, These clasps, Donna, only come in this size. So this length is, I'll tell you the length, the four, the four millimeter in length are 17 mil and the five mil in length are 19 millimeter. Okay. That's what these come. Uh, I'm also not showing you. We also launched this round clasp that I've used on this with the leather as a necklace. And let me show you, let me add myself to the stream here. You can see the camera, but see, look at this. 
I mean, come on. That looks so great. Just like this. And have the clasp there in front. Okay. So uh, we'll look at that again. But I just wanted to show you that. <clears throat> okay. So this, with all of these on here, look at the six aughts. Do they fit on the 1.5? I was getting super excited and maybe they actually don't fit. But let me see. Let me angle cut these and see. Yeah, the six aughts fit and they kind of stay where you put them. And I agree, Curtis, this could be a very masculine, feminine or somewhere in between uh, design. I love it. Um, I like jewelry that has sleek lines to it because you can really um, layer them that way. Um, I think they look great layered and then you can layer them with something a little more opulent. But see, here's those six aughts and see how they kind of stay where you put them on the leather. Let me show you how I did that. Some, since the leather does vary maybe just a little bit in size, you might not be able to do this with all of them, but see how I've angle cut it. There's the angle. And here's the six aught. Yeah, see this one slides on this strand just great. You could also check the Padres. Some of the Padres have big holes. Some of them have smaller holes. But you could try that. But look at, let me slide these down. And let me slide these down. So look at how cool those look on there. This would look great as a bracelet. Also really fantastic as a necklace as well. So these are the six aughts right here. Um, I think they'd look great. So let's take a look. Someone also asked, how would I glue this many strands in here? And I want to address that real quick for you all. Let me put these away though. Where did my blue ones go before they go? Yeah, I agree, Kim. With this, you could also do some mixed metals on the multi-strand. I think the regular shadows will probably fit on here. Um, those would look really killer, I think, on here for sure. So let me put these away. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's take a look at gluing these. Okay. So what I would do, I'm not going to glue this in yet because I think I'm going to play around with this, um, with this design idea. I think this would be fun. Um, what I would do is I would get my zap and I would insert just like I did that other one, the tip of the zap glue inside here. And I would kind of press it to the bottom, extrude a little bit of that glue. And as I'm taking the zap out of the clasp, I'd kind of stir the tip a little bit like this, right? And come out. Does that make sense? Oh, oh, hello. Somebody's right here. <laughs> someone, someone doesn't like my gluing instructions, <laughs> right? So, uh, so yeah, so this would work. Okay. Like that. All right. So let's take a look at, let me get rid of some of this stuff. Whoops. I just dropped some leather. Let me, uh, let me move this over here. Uh, let me show you, let me use this blue. Yeah, I'm not sure what it is. It just, it was right here a second ago. We also saw bats last night. I love a little bat. They're so tiny and they flew right over us. It was pretty cool. So yeah, I'm not sure. I'm going to see if I can spy what's making all that noise out here. But yeah, out in nature, beating in nature. So here's the five mil. You can see this sits real nicely right in there and you can just glue it right right in there so this is ready to go the four millimeter in the round see it doesn't it doesn't fit this five but it certainly fits 
look at how great that looks on the end there, right? I just love this round clasp. Okay. And again, cut this flat across so it's flush, a little bit of glue on the end of here and push that in. And then you get, this has been glued and it's nice and strong on there. It's not going anywhere. And that magnet is nice. You can also slide it off this way rather than pull it. But look at that. Oh, our friend Emily is on. Hello, M. It might be a J. Yeah, I love those. Yeah, I, I love those J birds. I love all birds. I just love birdies. So here's this. Okay, so that one looks good as well. All right, so that's kind of the, the, the clasp sitch. Let me show you some of the things I've done with this leather. And we're going to... Um, play around with this a little bit here. So let me clear this off a little bit more. Can you see the shadows of the trees? It's kind of nice here. Kind of nice. And it's not Fresno hot. It's like, I don't know, it's not even 70 degrees out here, which is a relief. So here's this that I did. This is four millimeter. This is the four millimeter smooth that we've gotten in. And I think you folks love it enough that we are going to be getting more. And if you're watching this later on a replay, say, and we have run out of some of the leather or whatever, don't worry. We get this manufactured for us. So we will keep this stuff in stock. All right. Just put it on the, um, put yourself on the notification list if we run out. Okay. Um, because we'll always carry it. So I did a couple of things. Let me zoom in here so you can, you can see this. And for the monthly mix, um, for the monthly maker, uh, Leslie, you were asking, all you need to do is post your monthly maker, uh, piece with the monthly mix before the end of the month in the Facebook group and tag it hashtag monthly maker, all one word, or you can email it to info at beadshop.com. Okay. And it'll be in the running for the monthly maker. Okay. Uh, let me zoom in. Yes, I am in Debbie. I am in Lake Arrowhead is where I am. Lake Arrowhead, California. It's beautiful. We're celebrating some birthdays, taking a little bit of end of summer R and R celebrating with friends. It's good times so tranquil. Okay. So I thought I would do some spiral macrame. I don't always do spiral macrame and I love it. Um, sometimes I forget to do it right. Um, not forget, but just flat macrame is so much e easier and faster to me. Okay. Right. So this is one that I've done. I've done a spiral and see what I've done here. I've used four millimeter or 0.4 millimeter Chinese knotting cord. Can you see that right here? And I have used three different beads. I've used, this is a six odd at six dash six forty one. I think this is the opal rose or something, but it's the six dash six forty one. This one is the thistle. The, I've used a a dot, the thistle, and then of course, when in doubt, use a shadow. This is a little shadow. So can you see here how there's the six, there's the shadow, and there's the eight. And if you'll notice what I've done here is I've only put beads on one side of the spiral as I'm going around. So I, because I wanted this, instead of having the two beads, I wanted the beads to kind of barber pull around this leather. And since I'm putting the beads only on the one side, it's also giving me some of the leather underneath. Now there's plenty of room in these beads. I could have used a 0.5 millimeter, but I wanted something a little thinner. I could have also used, um, Ceylon like this. Um, but I wanted to use Chinese knotting cord instead, but Ceylon would also work, whatever you like. Okay. 
Now on this one, and I'm going to show you how I do this in just a second. So hang tight. This one, I didn't put any beads on, but I wanted to see what the leather, this is 0.5 millimeter. I've been really into using the 0.5 millimeter in the Distress Brown. And I wanted the color contrast to come up from underneath. So I put it over the Distress Blue. And just look, look at that. I just love it. So this, it could be a bracelet or a necklace. I've glued this down actually with some zap and I'm going to cut it away in a second and we'll finish this one up and glue it. Okay. So Debbie, I don't have instructions, but let me show you. Let me, let me walk you through this because it's super easy. Okay. And we do have, um, skill builders and stuff on bead shop. So you'll be able to do this. So, so hold tight. Okay. So let's take a look at this one first. Um, what I did, I'm using my bead board, my, my nice bead board, and I didn't have a clip or anything. So I went into Karen's drawer in her kitchen drawer and I found this kind of giant clamp. I don't know where it's from, but look at how, when I put it on the side of my board, that clamps on the side of my board really well. So JP, I'm going to take a picture of this clamp. So maybe we can find them because look at how nicely it holds on here. Totally happenstance like that, right? Let me zoom in a little tighter too here so you can see this. Oh, are you guys getting ice? Ice time. Got to ice those coolers, friends. Got to ice those coolers. So what we're going to do, I'm going to start a fresh one, a little more down here. Okay. And then I'll come back to that. Let me just show you what I did. And this is review for some of you, but I, I want you to see how I did this and let me actually do it. Let's, let me show you how it looks with this Ceylon here. This is regular Ceylon, right? But what I used was the CKC Chinese knotting cord. It was a 0.4 millimeter and I used it in geisha, this color right here. So I'm going to take off a, I don't know, I'm not going to go real long. I'm going to go about a yard. I'm going to cut off a yard right here. Okay. And sorry, the sun is moving. I was kind of in the shade, but let me see if I can, let me scoot my chair over. Maybe I could put me in the shade. There we go. That might be a little bit, I don't know, a little bit better. Anyway, I'm going to find the center of this cord. And you know this technique in our, on our YouTube channel, I did a whole bunch of basics on all of the basic, um, stitches on macrame stitches. So this is the spiral. Okay. So you can consult that video if you need some more, um, you know, some more technique on it. But essentially what I'm going to do is here, I've looped my thread, found the center, come from underneath, looped it from the left here over this center cord. Now I'm going to take my right cord, go over this cord, under all of this main cord, and up through the loop. Okay. Now with the spiral, you just keep going in the same way. Now see here how my first one has kind of loosened itself. So tighten it up. Now tighten this one. Once you kind of get in the groove. Yep. I think the ladies went to get ice. Good thing. We've got champagne to ice too. Cause kids, we are not screwing around here. This is birthday week. It's so funny how all of us, a lot of my friends, we all have these late August, my mom too, late August, September birthdays. It's kind of fun. I'm having a big birthday dinner on Saturday for my birthday. You got to celebrate folks. You got to celebrate while you can, right? Because life is short. Life is fleeting. We've got to celebrate our friends and our people. So see, let me get in a little tighter here. So you can see this. Let me go in here, zoom in a bit. Can you see that there? 
There we go. Um, see how this is starting to spiral a little bit like this. Okay. And that's just simply from, let me see if I can center this, center this around. What are you getting there, Karen? Yeah, seeing what we got. Checking the coolers. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, I'm going to keep going here. So see how it's really starting to spiral here. And look at how nice this looks, just like this, without any beads on it. Let me zoom out just a hair. This Ceylon color, I think this is the burgundy is what this is, I think. It's the one that I've been using a lot in my master class. class. Um, I just saw it on my table, my work table, and grabbed it for my remote location. So I think this is the burgundy in the regular Ceylon. I love the color. I just love the color. So let me show you what it looks like when we add a bead onto here. Okay. Cause it's a lot closer with no bead, but here's the, 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 um, a dot. Let's do that little, um, that little design that I've done. So here's the eight and I only put it on one of the ends and I need to be consistent. So I'm only going to put it on the left side as I go. So there's my bead, make my loop over under and up through. Okay. Now I tie another one underneath another half hitch leaning to the left. And also I want to note, I want you folks to note, see how when I'm working here, let me zoom out as much as I can see here, nothing, this is just floating free so that this kind of twirls around as I'm working with it. Does that make sense? So that the spiral just keeps spiraling. And then I can kind of re, um, you know, unclip it and reclip it as I need to, to kind of, you know, so it continues to spiral around. But you always want to be working. In my case, I'm working from the left and uh, nodding the left hand side and also putting the beads on the left hand side. Let me zoom in a little bit more here. Let's get back to it. It looks like there was another. Um, oh, the master class. Let me talk about that a little bit as I'm putting these on. Debbie. Um, the first. Uh, it's my first inaugural master class, and it goes on the first Wednesday of every month. I do a live broadcast. And right now what we're doing is we're doing a big necklace project. So it's on our YouTube channel. There's a playlist called Masterclass. So you can catch up with it. I have two more episodes to go. And the Masterclass will um, wrap up in November. And then at the beginning of the year, will um, start a new master class. And I think our next master class is going to be all about wrap bracelets and all it's all going to be in one place. We're really going to break it down. I think it's going to be fun. So see, here's my next, how the beads start to spiral. So let's put on a six ought right here. Oh, someone's using a chainsaw <laughs> chainsaw in the woods. Nothing to be worried about here. But here we go. Here's the six ought. Slide that six ought down. Okay. And I make my loop. And I'm going to tie it. And then I'm going to tie another one underneath. So with the master class, thank you so much, folks, for your kind words about the master class. Um, it's been a lot of fun to do. Um, I'm just finalizing my um, details for the class we're going to do abroad. We're going to do a class in France. We're going to do a retreat. And it's going to be for a week. There's going to be details on, and we're going to take nine students. 
And it's going to be a masterclass. The piece that we're going to do is, uh, is kind of based on the masterclass project. And we're going to do it, you know, with a very France, um, oh, I need one more here with a very France influenced vibe. We're also going to do a little bit of resin. Um, my buddy, Jen Cushman, who does resin, who used to do resin with Susan Leonard Kasmer, really proficient in all things resin. She's going to do a special little resin um, demo for us. So we'll do some treasures, some ephemera from France in the resin to incorporate into our pieces. It's going to be a lot of fun. The, the retreat starts on May 30th and goes for a week, and it's near Toulouse, France at La Cascade. It's going to be so much fun. So um, I'm really looking forward to it. We're going to have more um, details on that soon. So, yeah, the birds are really calling. Hi. Hi, friends. I guess they like this beadwork I'm doing. Somehow that's not nodding quite right. So if it's not right, I just take it out. And there it is here and here. Let me put this bead right. Oh, you were looking for the Helen Dietz book from the master class? You know, put yourself, what I do when I want to find something that's, you know, that's out of print or whatever, I do an alert. I think you can set an alert like on eBay or something when they come up. That might be a good way to do it. Oh, you know what? I needed another shadow there. I'm doing the wrong thing. But anyway, um, you can see this. See how this is going. Did I freeze? Oh, hang on. Hang on.
Okay, everybody, I don't, uh, hopefully you can hear me now, maybe, maybe, trying. Can you see me? Oh, okay, you can see me. Okay, I can't see myself on the screen is the thing. So let me see something has gone funny with this connection. So I think Janice comment and let me know if you can see me. <clears throat> Sorry about this, everybody. Let's see. It's trying, it's trying, it's trying. Okay, Emily says that you can see me. Okay, so um, I'm now, I'm now on my phone. <laughs> so, oh, uh, well, um, let me see if I can enter. enter the studio. Well, anyway, so M, um, thumbs up, Janice, uh, message me real quick and let me know. So, okay, everybody, I'll just wrap this up then. Sorry about that. That's what happens when you're at a remote location, I suppose. So just to wrap this up, yes, captions are on. I'm not sure how to take captions off. And Janice is texting me now. I can see that text. Anyway, let me see if I can flip my camera around so you folks can see uh, the last. Let me do this. There, there's that. There we go. Let me go to camera. Whoops. Let me, um, let me see if I can flip this around. And let me go to back camera. There we go. Okay, perfect. Uh, I'm gonna do that. So I think you folks can actually see what's happening right here. So I will wrap this up for you. See, even a remote location can't stop me. So uh, here is that Ceylon that I did here. We'll finish that up here with the 0.4 millimeter CKC. And what I was going to do for this, and it's kind of hard for me. Well, let me see if I can put this in. And I can't see any captions or anything. I can't see any comments. I got nothing. So, Janice, keep reassuring me that you can... Uh, see me and hear me on this because I'll just do this real quick and wrap this up. Um, so with this four mil, what I'm going to do here, um, okay, I'm still good. Good. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to glue this off here and I'll connect this into my clasp. So this is here. I may go even a little further here, but let me do that one with this one just to wrap it up. And I'm sorry, folks, that's sometimes what your remote location gets you, right? Janice, you can message me any questions that people might have. But here and here, here we go. That I've cut off. And what I did was I glued that with the zap glue. So now I'm just gonna measure this on my wrist here it's a good thing, though, I went over all of the details before. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Thank you for all the happy birthday wishes and everything, folks. Sometimes you just, in a remote location, things go awry, but that's okay. I'm going to cut it off here. I'll add my zap right there. Right? A little... uh. 
little technical difficulties can't get me down, right? Let's get that zap right in there. You know what I need for my birthday? A little more zap glue. There we go. I have a full one that's next to me, but I don't want to open it until I use every bit out of that one. So can you see there how the zap looks? Let me grab a uh, four millimeter clasp. Let me grab, I'm going to grab this gold one. These would also stack really nicely with your adventure bracelets and stuff right? It's a really great bracelet to have in a stack. So I'm going to measure this out. It's going to go about right there. So let me cut this off. Add a little more zap here to this end. Let's go ahead and put the lid on now. And right here, I'm going to push that in into the clasp. So see how the macrame that I did on this side is centered on? And then I'm going to do the same thing here. But I think I'm going to have it go from here all the way around to here. I think that'll look nice with this stack. So Janice just texted me and said, Robin's asking why Zap is better than E6000. You know, E6000, Robin, will also work here on this, but since I'm doing this live, <laughs> obviously live, the Zap grabs it and it's ready. It's done. So it goes super fast. If you have E6000, you can certainly use it. Here's the one that I glued in earlier. So now you can see that's nice and tight and done and ready to go. So um, you could put this, you could use the E6000 for these as well. What I like um, about the Zap though, as I said, when you're doing it live, it, it really dries very quickly. With the E6000 though, the E6000 is kind of, is super viscous right so i would actually apply the e6000 using a toothpick or something around here so you don't get too much because you don't want to put this inside the clasp and have all that glue gush out right so confine your glue to like the top here and like maybe to here and then it'll spread when you put it in the clasp so let's take a look at all of these let's line all of these up here like this. So here's my second one. And here, I don't want to pull on that clasp because I just, <laughs> I just glued it. There we go. Let me put this around. But see, the zap sets up fast, but I want this to kind of sit anyway. I want this glue to, um, to cure. There we go. And see that clasp really snaps in there. And these would look nice on the front of your wrist. So I can turn one of these around, maybe like that. Look at that nice stack. Look at how nice this looks. I love it. And then when I add this beaded one down here, I think that's going to look great. So super simple. Um, even, again, with this one with the Ceylon, I think it would look great. What I was going to do before this demo went sideways, I was also thinking about maybe adding a little bit of silk wrap here with... Um, with my 0.5 millimeter like this. I think that would look nice as well. So any way that you want to kind of embellish these, I think will work. But look at how fun that stack is. Um, any more questions, JP? Just text them over. I'm going to actually wrap this. Now I'm going to take my camera out of the holder and I'm going to put the camera face forward here. Um, again, I can't see any of your of your comments. See how oh, Janice and I, there we are, we're texting. Uh, let me turn this camera around here so it's on the front camera. Uh, there we are. And here I am. Here I am wearing my, let's see if I can get this to the center. Okay. Janice says we're good. Well, good. Good. I'm glad we're good. Here we are. So, folks, thank you so much for joining me for this broadcast.
from my remote location, this beautiful, beautiful Lake Arrowhead, California. Sorry about that little uh, uh, flub in the middle, but sometimes when you're going from the remote location, things happen. So do remember, friends, that all of the leather Everything that I've showed you today is available on beadshop.com. If for some reason we sell out of things, we've got plenty of stuff right now. But if you're watching this later on a later broadcast or whatever and we're out, put yourself on the notification list because these are all things that we're getting made for us. Um, so it takes a little bit of time to get them back in. Um, but these are things that we're going to continue to carry. Um, if I lift the camera... You can see the beautiful trees. We talked about those turkey vultures. I'm trying to see if I can see them in the trees or peace eagles now, as we're calling them. So friends, have a really great remainder of your day. Stay creative. And I will see you on Friday for a pre-recorded version uh, of my free tip Friday, where we're going to do, we're going to do this heart knot. Friday, these leathers launch along with some new end caps and stuff that I'm going to demo there. So I will see you Friday, not live. It'll be a pre-record. And then I'll see you live again next week with Emily. Emily's going to be on. So thanks again, everybody. Uh, again, thanks for sticking in there with me. Christine says goodbye from down below. We've got ice to put in that cooler. So I will talk to you folks soon. Thanks so much, everybody. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye.